Hey guys! That's not my normal intro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a summer getting ready with me hair, makeup, and outfit. So I did one of these videos for the past spring, winter, I'm not sure about fall, I don't think I did fall, but I'm going to try to be doing this seasonally, so it's almost summer, so I thought I'd do a summer hair makeup outfit. Before I start this video, I'm going to put my P.O. Box address right here. Um, I received a few packages from you guys, and I want to do like a video unboxing kind of thing, so if you guys would like to send me letters that you can feature in a video or whatever. So if you guys would like to send me letters or anything, I can feature it in a video. So yeah, my address is right here. It's going to be linked down below as well. So yeah. If you want to figure out how to get this look, then just keep watching. My really good friend Christine here on YouTube also did the same video, so make sure you check hers out. There's going to be a link in the down bar and in the end of the video that you can click on. I'm starting off by applying a light sunscreen on my face. The sun can get pretty harsh, especially in California, so I'm just making sure I protect it. To prime my face, I'm using the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro. It's from the drugstore, it's fairly cheap, and I'm just applying that all over my face to prep my face for foundation. Since the weather can get pretty hot and humid, I don't like to wear very heavy foundation. So I'm actually mixing um, a tinted moisturizer, which is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, along with my foundation, which is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere, just to make it a lighter coverage. It's too bad. Since I do have some problem areas, I'm taking a full cover waterproof concealer, and this is from Makeup Forever, so I'm just applying this on any blemishes that I have, as well as my under eyes. Next, I'm just setting everything with my MAC Studio Fix powder. This offers a little bit of coverage, but it's still pretty light on your face. To top it off, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This makes sure your makeup doesn't budge and it's really good for the summertime. I'm not a really big fan of blush, so I'm using a bronzer and I'm pretty much just putting this in my cheekbones using the same brush, so it kind of just gives an overall nice glowy effect. Too many days, I can't trip here, but now I'm getting up. Starting off with the eyes, I always have to prime them, so I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the best, and I'm just putting them on my eyelids. I'm using a light golden cream shadow for the lids just to give a little sticky base for the eyeshadow. I'm taking Urban Decay's Baked and I'm just applying this right over that cream shadow. Next to help blend that in, I just used a fluffy brush and just a random matte brown eyeshadow to put that into my crease. To highlight my brow bones, I just applied a light shimmery champagne color. To highlight my inner corners, I just started off by using a white cream shadow, and then on top of that I used a light minty green, which is in the Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette, which is so old, um, but I just applied that right over. Finding it hard to admit that I miss you. So this is pretty much my everyday eyeliner. Um, this is the MAC Black Track Gel Liner, just pure black gel liner. And I just did my everyday eyeliner, so it's pretty thick. I proceeded to fill in my eyebrows, and this is not really anything special. It's just a brow pencil from like Walmart or something. 
my eyebrows can get a little crazy so I just use a brow gel to set them and this is from NYX This is the best mascara combination that you could do. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion and the Falsies by Maybelline. So, yeah, just, just do it. Do that mascara. I'm not really a huge fan of lipstick or lip gloss, especially for the summertime, so I just applied a lip balm. And that is the completed makeup look. So now it's time to start with the hair. So to curl my hair, I'm using the Numi Lustrum Kit, and this comes with five barrels and a handy little kit, um, and your cord doesn't have to get tangled and you can just keep everything organized. So I'm using the biggest barrel. I'm just attaching that. So this curling iron actually heats up in seconds after just flipping the switch, putting on your glove, and it should be ready to go within like 30 seconds or so. The great thing about this wand is it makes your hair feel so silky and shiny. It has like negative ions which make your hair like balanced and moisturized, so I definitely recommend it. You also don't have to recurl your hair if you want to um, leave it for second day, even third day. It just stays curled and it's amazing. So if you want any of these products, Numi was nice enough to give you guys a coupon code. So if you put in MIA40, you can actually get 40% off the entire website. For the code MIA99, you get this curling iron set, which comes with five barrels and a free argan oil for only $99. So once I'm all done curling, I just shake out my hair, just make it really nice and loose, and that's actually it. And I don't need a hairspray with this curling iron, so I just let it go, and it's amazing. Now it's time for the outfit. I actually went to New York City for BeautyCon, and I stayed with my friends and stuff, so just thought I'd show you the city around a little bit. This top I actually wore to BeautyCon, and it's a chiffon, um, I don't even know, high neck shirt, and it's from Urban Outfitters. My shorts are from Forever 21, and it was fairly inexpensive. Yeah. I've been doing fine in the misery. Not crazy. I told them not to worry about me. These shoes totally aren't meant for the summer or whatever, but I wear them every single day, and they're the Steve Madden Trupa Combat Boots, and my purse is from the Leather Satchel Company. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Those are going to be all linked down below. And make sure you like this video if you liked it. The, that, that, that'd be nice. Giving this video a thumbs up just helps me a lot, so that would be nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Lastly, before you leave, don't forget to check out my friend Christine's video. Um, it's going to be linked in the down bar, or you can just click right here.